from AI to pencil to vector. Hi, I'm brand designer Izzy Poirier, and today we will be getting our hands dirty as we will be tracing and sketching over our previously AI-generated mascot from Adobe Firefly. Then we will bring our designs in Adobe Illustrator in order to get that polished vectorized version. The goal is to deepen our creative process without dismissing the full artistry of logo and mascot design. First, let's put our AI outputs in InDesign for better sketching. This step ensures that our page is being used to its maximum potential while also keeping our sketches somewhat small. Perfect for thinking about scale of the logo or mascot. It also allows me to explore more mascot variety on the same page. Now my favorite part, tracing. I start by layering tracing paper over the prints. I want to keep this process fluid and playful. My focus is on exaggerating key features that bring personality to the mascot, such as hair, nose, and of course, big cheeks all inspired by the mood board. Since Adobe Firefly missed the mark on their retro mascot eyes, I've pulled a reference from Adobe Stock to guide me as I refine the eyes, the eye shape, and expressions. As I'm tracing, I want to keep everything loose. I actually want mistakes to happen. Not only am I tracing over the AI outputs, but I'm also tracing over my own sketches again and again. This lets me play around, tweak proportion, and layer in fresh ideas at every pass. It's all about exploring and leaning into the creative process and letting the mascot evolve naturally with that human touch. Once I have the direction for the mascot, I scan the sketches and bring them into Illustrator. That's where we can clean things up and refine the design. I use tools like the Ellisp, Shape Builder, Pen, pencil and pathfinder to adjust proportions, refine shapes, and make sure the design is balanced while keeping its unique charm intact. Pro tip, for the eyes, I construct them on the straight horizontal plane first to get everything aligned, then tilt them slightly to add character, making sure the light source stays consistent and not mirrored so everything looks cohesive. I also use the stroke tool to finesse the lines changing the anchor ends to a round cap for a softer, more polished look. Once I'm happy with the result, I expand the logo to finalize the shapes and use the Unite Pathfinder tool to merge all elements. This ensures that the mascot is clean, well-constructed, and ready for any applications. Now it's time to turn the mascot into a full logo. This took a bit of exploration, which you can see from my artboard. I used a sans serif font to include the Sweet Cheeks Kitchen name, vegan and gluten-free description, and the establishment date. I also went with an arch for the text at the top, inspired by the mood board and the owner's preference for that style. The arch not only complements the mascot, but also creates a cupcake shape when the mascot isn't used in the logo. A small detail, but one that keeps the brand cohesive no matter where the logo appears. And this is how you can take your AI-generated mascot, turn them into a final design using your hands without dismissing the full artistry of logo and mascot design. Be sure to download the files below. You will find a mascot library and the InDesign template to get you started. And be sure to subscribe to the Adobe Live channel. Stay tuned for our next episode. Thanks for watching.